This is Lance O for the Record Wave TV coming to you live from the Circle Village and the Circle House Studios, all powered by Inner Circle. For more, it's the Record Wave TV. Today, special guests on the program, Seth Silvera and the movie and now TV series called Shatas. Though, my brother, <laughs> you know, it's been a we, we legends up in this. A lot of people don't even know. We're still young, but we legends. These streets, these Miami streets, man. I'll let so, them say that. yeah, we just right now, what we're doing right now, we just we just putting our experiences on. on I mean, say it began in jail. I mean, you want to start there? Just tell me how it really, really, <clears throat> where, where, where did Shatters really? Well, begin? okay, well, the, the, tr the truth of the matter is. My, my the inspiration yes. to make movies to do something with my life start behind bars. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Because you know I was like, man, I, when I get out, I ain't coming back to this place. You know what I'm saying? I, this is not an example for me to leave for my sons. I got boys. You know, it was so, there that I, I I made a decision like, okay, what am I gonna do with my life? What do I like? You know what I'm saying? I already wasted a whole lot of money in in the music business with recording artists. I'm not an artist. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you know, but. I've go to Jamaica, build a recording studio down there, do that whole music thing, and then nothing pan out. So there was come a point when I was like, you know what, I'm gonna invest in me, and what I like was movies. So it so happened now, shadows come about because one of my my, my, my closest friends is like a brother to me, you know. He came, me and him and another one of my other partner, um, was sitting at my my, my friend's house on the steps, and he came to me and he like, yo, says. You're writing all these screenplays. You have all these scripts. You need to m turn it into a movie. I say, yeah, that's the plan. But you know, there's other, there's another process to that. But he's, but he's like, man, but I don't think you have the right script, though. I'm like, what do you mean I don't have the right script? He said, man, you need to write a script called Shatters. Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean Shatters? He's like, man, you need to write a script about Shatters, about you know the whole Jamaican gangster. I'm like, man, this dude, I leave me alone with this ignorant, crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. That was my attitude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm like, man, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do like, um, you know, Shawshank Redemption and, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do Jaws. You know, I'm trying to do Steven Spielberg type joints. You know, yeah. this dude come and tell me about do a movie about Jamaican gangsters. I was totally against it, but he sat down and was so passionate about the entire story. He told me, he like, yo. He named the characters. He like Biggs and you know Wayne and you know like this is what it should be about and all of that. And me, me and my other homeboy looking at him like this dude is serious. And when he tell me this whole story, how we think the movie should be and it should be as gritty as possible, he's like, yo, they already see the Scarface where the Cubans are playing gangsters. They see the Bugsy Seagull, the, the Jewish gangsters, and they see the Italians in, in Goodfellas. He's like, nobody ever really see the Jamaican gangsters. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. when he said that, I was like, um, you know what, you're right. He's like, bro, we have to really show how the gangsters are get down in America. And tell you no lie, in three days, I had 90-something pages written, a complete script. And I give it to him and he read it, give it to my other partner and they read it, and they're like, that's it. And we're like, this is it? He's like, this is it. We're shooting this, we're making this movie. Every word you hear Kimani Marley or Spraga Benz or Paul Campbell utter in Shatters was the first draft. What's wrong we wrote? You know what I'm saying? There was no rewrite, there was no second draft, there was nobody else read it. It was the three of us who read it, and they too said it, it they approve it. And we like, this is it. Yeah. You know?